Greetings from South Australia, this is Base Overcast Reviews and tonight we're reviewing Terraphobia's new album Evolution. So where do I start? This album doesn't waste a lot of time getting into things really, aside from some intro wind and a little bit of guitaring that travels by itself for a short while, this album pretty much straight after that launches into fast aggressive syncopated music. Fast drums, fast guitars and drums letting us know that this is a release that doesn't want to let up for any of its listeners. And it's not just chunky thrash throwing us some macho metal that's fast without anything else to its name. There's some great atmosphere that lies behind this music. Don't get me wrong, there's lots of chunky hooks and catchy riffs that fill out all of this release. But behind all of that there's guitar lead that travels through the music and it, it, it's making sure that you're not just left with a face smash of brutality you're left with a good dose of harmonies, vocals of pure wrath and some good old solos fast enough to make sure that you're swimming in sound there's even sections in some songs where it slows down a little making sure you have more appropriate speed for throwing your hair around while you hold up your horns this does, however, come at a cost. By the third song, I found myself checking to make sure it wasn't repeating one of the other songs. All of the sound is, well, same guitar tones, same distortion levels, same vocal style, although there were actually a few surprises thrown in. Fallen Hero was the first to break free from the same sound by having a melodic and slow down middle section that was more soft than anything else. The Unforgotten was the next song to introduce a new sound to the release. This song was more of a was more of a heavy, heavy ballad, starting off with slow and quiet sounds, growing heavier all the time while still keeping the same tempo. Also, the vocals weren't as aggressive in that song, allowing you to soak up more of the song's mood. And I'm not saying that every other single song sounds the same. No, they really don't. If you listen to each song, you can hear the difference. What I'm trying to say is that each song sounds similar. It's much of a muchness, to be honest. A good muchness. You can enjoy each song individually, and quite a lot too. And thanks to the couple of differences, this release is... Whoa. It was truly an epic release of ferocity, leaving the entire album to finish with a slam. To be honest, that's really all that can be said about the music in detail. Layered, fast, atmospheric, heavy thrash. Good, but not all in one listen. The artwork is entirely Death Thrash influenced with its block text logo and skull over texture front design. All of the artwork is set in the same colours, brown on orange, on brown on orange. Inside of the booklet you've got some sepia photographs, one of a graveyard and one of the musician himself, Michael Jelinek, in a leather coat looking tough as nuts. The lyrics pages have their own pictures, each according to the theme of the song. The song Golgotha has the crucifix and a crown of thorns. Fallen Hero has an M60 machine gun and a skull wearing a military helmet. You get the idea. I guess in this case the artwork firmly resembles the music s itself. A lot of the same, with some differences thrown in just enough to make it different. Overall, I really did enjoy the release. The songs are extremely enjoyable, with good composition, audio quality, and tight musicianship. However, I wouldn't listen to the entire CD in one shot again, but I would rather space it out piece by piece. Thank you, this has been Bose Overcast Reviews. Have a good night.